Mine back to February last year and you may remember the excitement when NASA successfully landed its Perseverance rover on Mars. Is there life on Mars? It's a question scientists have pondered for years. But now we might be close to an answer. Mars, the fourth planet out from the Sun, is well known for its look of a rusty red colour. The atmosphere of the red planet is extremely thin, making it a chilly desert world. But the dusty, lifeless planet is anything but uninteresting. Phenomenal dust storms can cover the entire planet, temperatures can drop so low that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere condenses directly into snow or frost, and Mars quakes occur on a daily basis. As a result, it's no surprise that this red planet continues to fascinate scientists and is one of the solar system's most examined bodies according to NASA Science. Have you seen the strange image of an alien doorway that quickly went viral on social media? On May the 7th, 2022, NASA's Curiosity rover returned it as it went through Mars's Mount Sharp region. It was of course nothing of such, it was simply a crevice that resulted from natural erosion. But in the wake of that photograph, both of NASA's rovers, Curiosity and Perseverance, have been sending back some images that are both fascinating and unexpected. Today in this video, we bring you some of the most bizarre things discovered on Mars. Icy Meltwater Mars once had rivers and ponds that provided a potential environment for microbial life billions of years ago. That water evaporated as the planet's atmosphere thinned over time, leaving the frozen desert world studied by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, today. It is widely assumed that Mars's water vanished around 3 billion years ago. However, two scientists reviewing data collected by MRO on Mars over the previous 15 years have discovered evidence that drastically shortens that timeline. Their research reveals evidence of liquid water on Mars as recently as 2 billion to 2.5 billion years ago, implying that water flowed there for a billion years longer than previously thought. The findings focus on the chloride salt deposits left behind as icy meltwater drained across the landscape. While the structure of certain valley networks suggested that water may have flowed recently on Mars, the salt deposits are the first mineral evidence indicating the presence of liquid water. The discovery raises fresh questions about how long microbial life on Mars could have sustained, assuming it ever existed at all. Ellen Leesk, the study's principal author, conducted much of the research as part of her doctoral studies at Caltech in Pasadena. She and Caltech professor Bethany Elman utilised data from the MRO instrument called the Compact Reconnaissance Imaging Spectrometer for Mars CRISM, to map chloride salts across Mars' southern hemisphere's clay-rich highlands, which are dotted with impact craters. One key to date the salts was the presence of craters. The less craters a terrain has, the younger it is. Scientists can estimate the age of a surface area by measuring the number of craters on it. MRO has two cameras that are ideal for this task. The context camera's black and white wide-angle lens assists scientists in mapping the spread of the chlorides. Scientists use the high-resolution image science experiment high-rise color camera to zoom in and see features as small as a Mars rover from space. Liesk and Elman discovered several of the salts in depressions on gently sloping volcanic plains by using both cameras to build digital elevation maps. The scientists also discovered twisting dry channels nearby, old streams that formerly fed surface runoff from ice or permafrost melting into these ponds. Crater counts and indications of salts on top of volcanic topography help them to date the deposits. Did you know that the Red Planet also has the highest mountain and the deepest longest valley in the solar system? Olympus Mons is roughly 17 miles 27 kilometers high roughly three times the height of Mount Everest, while the Vals Marineris system of valleys, named after the Mariner 9 probe that discovered it in 1971, reaches as deep as 6 miles 10 kilometers, and runs east-west for roughly 2,500 miles 4, kilometers, roughly one-fifth the distance around Mars and close to the width of Australia. Scientists believe that the Vals Marineris was formed mostly by rifting of the crust as it stretched. 
individual canyons in the system can be up to 60 miles, 100 kilometers wide. The canyons meet in the center of the Valles Marineris, spanning up to 370 miles, 600 kilometers. Large channels emerging from the ends of several canyons, as well as stratified sediments within, indicate that the canyons were previously filled with liquid water. Dark Green Spots Is the appearance of dark spots near Mars South Pole in early spring an indication of life on the red planet? According to a panel of scientists, no one knows for certain. Andres Horvath, Tibor Ganti, and Yours Zathmeri from Budapest Planetarium and Institute for Advanced Study proposed that the spots could be colonies of Martian bacteria that wax and wane with the seasons. The specks emerge on crater floor dunes in the south and north polar regions. The Hungarian crew thoroughly studied the southern areas. They appear in late winter and by summer they have disappeared. They appear first at the margins of the dune fields and rarely appear on the ridges of dunes, Zathmeri informed the group. Their location, which is independent of land elevation, and shape, which is circular on level surfaces but extended on slopes, appear to contradict a physical explanation alone, according to Hungarian scientists who have proposed a biological explanation instead. They propose that the spots are colonies of photosynthetic Martian microbes that overwinter beneath the ice cap. Light penetrates the ice as the sun returns to the pole in early spring, causing microorganisms to photosynthesize and heat their immediate environment. The layer of ice that covers them has caused a pocket of water to form around them. This water would typically evaporate away immediately in the thin atmosphere of Mars, but the ice has prevented this from happening. As this ice layer thins, the microorganisms show through grey. When it has completely melted, they rapidly desiccate and turn black. This explains why many dark dune spots have a black center surrounded by a grey aureole. The Tubes of Mars In recent years, a number of strange features have been found on the surface of Mars. The glass tubes identified by the team of Enterprise Mission, non-NASA researchers who reviewed over 20,000 MGS photographs made available to the public, are without a doubt one of the most astonishing and eye-catching photos from the Mars Global Surveyor. Seemingly non-natural tubular surfaces located in the Martian deserts give the appearance of being translucent, quite cylindrical, and supported by somewhat regular intervals by ribs. These images acquired from Mars orbit show what appear to be miles and miles of ribbed tubes on the red planet's surface. The diameter of these tubes is estimated to be close to 600 feet. Some have attempted to explain these structures by geological processes. Others feel they are naturally biological. Nonetheless, some people believe the tubes were built. The team working on the Curiosity rover has a hunch that the tube structures are themselves crystals, or that crystals formed a mold in the rock that was later filled in by sedimentary material. Curiosity has already discovered abundant evidence of groundwater and an old lake and stream system on the crater floor and in the lower foothills of the mountain. The mission team thinks that Mount Sharp's rocks provide evidence of Mars' change from a reasonably warm and wet world to the frigid and dry planet it is today. Some researchers speculate that these non-natural tubes could be water pipes or an ecologically sustainable underground rapid transit system. If their theories turn out to be accurate, this would provide conclusive evidence that there is intelligent life on Mars. Perhaps the Martians are an underground civilization. Blueberries and Jelly Donut A mere handful of months after the Opportunity rover touched down on Mars, its cameras discovered a region of rocks in the vicinity of the landing site that gave off the impression of being incredibly wonderful. Scientists began naming these curiously spherical rocks blueberries, since they didn't know what they were looking at. It's unknown how these rocks formed, but experts believe they are one of the earliest pieces of evidence indicating Mars had a wet past. If the Martian blueberries were enough to get your mouth watering, you won't believe what's next. On January 8, 2014, a bizarre object that resembled a powdered jelly-filled donut inexplicably appeared in front of the Opportunity rover's panoramic camera. Earlier photographs of the exact location were oddly devoid of donuts. Nobody knew what it was or where it came from, but the Martian donut enthralled people on Earth. 
After weeks of reviewing Opportunity photos, NASA scientists discovered that what appeared to be a jelly-filled pastry was actually simply a plain old rock thrown up and pushed by the rover's wheels. Dinosaur Skull If you go through the thousands of images returned from Mars by NASA's Curiosity rover, you'll see a lot of unique rock formations. Some of them, such as one that resembles a toothy dinosaur skull, ends up on Scott Waring's UFO sightings daily. The ancient dinosaur skull is the most recent offering, yet the image was shot a long time ago on Sol 297 in June 2013 when Curiosity was passing through Glenelg. Scientists believe the region was once a stream bed as demonstrated by the rounded stones strewn throughout the ground. Some of the stones were lodged in the cracks of a wind-sculpted rock, prompting Waring to draw attention to the dinosaurian appearance. Look closely and you will see there is a nostril area, lower jaw area and jaw hinge area as well, he says. On the other hand, we believe that this is the most recent illustration of pareidolia, which is the human inclination to find patterns that appear to have meaning even in occurrences that are randomly arranged. They are figments of our imagination, which are in turn driven by our desire to be there on Mars and to know that we are not alone. Let's hear what you think about these weird things discovered on Mars in the comments section.